Hello, my friends. I'm Pastor Doug, and it's my joy to visit with you again. In fact, the last time this year. You know, as I prepare this, I must admit 2020 has left me feeling a little tired. I think all of us can relate to this sense of, what shall we call it, battle fatigue? As we've tried to chart a course that makes sense for us, but recognizing no matter what course we've taken, others have chosen a different path. The different perspectives, the uncertainty, the increasing cases and hospitalizations, and the sheer lengthiness of this pandemic challenges the hardiest of individuals. And yet, there are signs of hope. The news this morning said nearly 11 million doses of the vaccine have been distributed. And the fifth vaccine maker is entering into the large-scale testing. There are other signs of hope. Many of us have learned to work remotely. Our church and many others have learned and mastered streaming worship services. And all of us in a variety of ways have become quite adaptive as we've met the challenges of 2020. But when I'm feeling fatigue and it's holding me down, I remember the words of Helen Lemel's chorus. She reminds me where I can find rest and peace and hope in spite of all that's going, in, going on in the world right now. Her simple chorus says, turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look full into his wonderful face and the things of earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. Helen's text is simple and forthright. And it even reminds the seasoned pastor to center our eyes and spirit on Jesus. The simple tune is sincere and reverent, and it calls all of us to prayer. My dear friends, when life seems to be weighing you down, we need to refocus our pro from our problem to our problem solver. We need to refocus from our limited resources to God's unlimited provisions that will carry us through. We need to refocus not on ourselves, but upon Jesus. Philippians 4.13 promises us that as we turn to Jesus, we can do all things through him who strengthens us. The key step to make that happen is as we turn our eyes on Jesus and as we trust that he'll take care of each of us. And you know, quite frequently, quite frankly, as I do this, my burden doesn't seem quite so heavy. So I'm hopeful that 2021 is truly going to be a better year and that we all will have been stronger for the challenges that we've faced together this year. I also hope we'll remember that when we're feeling weary, to turn our eyes upon Jesus and in prayer go to him and know that we will find our strength renewed. Amen. Some announcements about Wesley Church and some things that are coming up in some, and some community activities. Uh, Wesley Church uh, has committed to filling the mobile mission van in cooperation with Do Over Ministries. We're collecting things like coats and sleeping bags, thermal underwear, flashlights, batteries, hats, gloves, backpacks, things like that. And they're going to be distributed on January 5th. These items can be brought to the church during normal office hours, Tuesday through Thursday from 9 till 2 o'clock, or again on Sunday morning. The January-February issue of the Upper Room and our offering envelopes are now available in the church lobby. Please feel free to stop by and pick up a, a copy of the devotional and your envelopes. I certainly want to just say one more time a thank you to our musicians and streaming team for both our Christmas Eve service and the Wesley Christmas Festival of Music. You combined your talents to lead us in two very meaningful and memorable services. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. We continue to live stream our worship service every Sunday at nine o'clock 
on both Facebook and YouTube. Let's close with a word of prayer. Loving God, as we close out 2020 and we begin 2021, help us always to remember to cast all our cares upon you, to lay all our burdens down at your feet. And any time that we don't know what to do, what well, you just need to cast all our cares upon you. We ask this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you for visiting with me, my friends. We're going to talk again soon. May the peace of God be with you. Stay safe and stay strong.